Oh. Hey, rise and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Your mom's gonna be here soon, and you know how she is. Oops, here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Oh, computer, snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer, off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. What a good boy. Okay, let's clean up that dirty little body. Hey, easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diapers. Choco Rockets? Sure, what difference does it make? Good morning, Commander Shea. It is my honor to be your training spoon today. Can't wait to start mission nutrition. So just pick me I wonder up if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. You won't be sorry, Commander. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. Once more into the Milky Breach. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you... Uh-oh. Uh... Commander, aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galarctica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by.
I've found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get off! Got a special nutrition paste for you today. Oh, not sure what this one is. <laughs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. Help! Help! Someone help us! My toes are really chilly! This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? That's not worse. Come on. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. <laughs> Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay! Remember, chew your food 32 times. Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. Having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But... Tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But... No one. Hey! Wait! What? No 
own discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> Weird. No missions. I can do... whatever? She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. Either way, it's dead now. Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. It works! Hmm. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. <sighs> I don't think that will help inflate it. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa, it looks like a blow-up doll of me. Creepy. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man, computers are stupid. Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak. The tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak. 
and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. has come to play with the Space Weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh, man. A real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Hey, Space Weaver. Can you take me here? Not a problem. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. Three. Two. One. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <sighs> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shield so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shield. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject, then press this to engage the grappling sequence. I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean, our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more, quickly, before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Position the ship so the cargo booms can grab one of the creatures. Careful. Wait. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart.
Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? That is an easy one for the Space Weaver. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. Securing subject in cargo. I can't tell you which creature to save. Look into your heart, young cub. Great work! I can't tell you which creature to save. Look into your heart, young cub. Dang! Good, but hurry, we're running out of time. I can't tell you which creature to save. Look into your heart, young cub. Careful. Wait for it. Uh, see the... Rats. Keep... Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. This is a waste of time. There is no need for this. It's just one creature. Rats. Dang. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Attention. Ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. Yeah. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> As soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. <clears throat> Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, so brave. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan.